In this short support video, we will take a look at earthwork optimization for a road project. Optimization is one of the tools where environmental and economic goals are aligned. Less earthwork has less emissions, and usually means less disturbance area. Here we have the same 1.1 km long road. The image on the left was manually designed, the image on the right is the same manual design, but optimized. In this example, a quick optimization using Road Eng with Softree Optimal has reduced our earthworks by 7,000 cubic meters, and our disturbance area by 0.2 hectares. Let's take a look at that process. This is Road Eng. It is a geometric civil design software made by Softree. This version includes an add on called Softree Optimal, a patented earthwork optimization tool. The manual design was already done. Here is a data table with the cut and fill volumes, as well as the disturbance area. Now we will optimize the vertical profile for this design, minimizing the cuts and fills, while adhering to our road standards and constraints. To start that, we create a new vertical alignment in the Project Explorer panel for comparison. In the Vertical Optimization Options dialog, we tell the software how frequently we want to sample along the road. The more sections you sample the better the optimization will be, but the longer time it will take to solve. On the Standards tab, we can control the way the software handles curves. Here we select the Curves Fast option, but we are including a minimum curve length. This way we don't end up with a bunch of little curves back to back. We can control standards or constraints such as grade and curvature by station range. This particular project has two switchbacks. In the station range for the switchbacks, we can set a reduced grade, so we assign different range constraints for those specific sections. The only other elements we will account for in this optimization are control points. Other than just minimizing our cuts and fills we want to ensure our road can tie into existing roads on either side. We set control points at the start and end of the alignment to match the existing elevation from our manual design. There is a lot of options to accommodate for operational constraints, but we are keeping this example fairly simple. The final step is the optimization. This particular optimization took a minute or so to solve, with most of the time spent in a pre-process. We sped up the video so you did not need to wait. The software has found a best, balanced, vertical alignment. You can see our profile, cross-section and 3D view have updated. And, so have our earthworks. Let's take a look at our cut and fill table, as well as our disturbance area. We put those two data tables side by side for you to compare. In a matter of minutes we reduced our road's earthwork by 6,700 cubic meters. That is over 400 truck loads of material. We also reduced our disturbance area by 0.2 hectares. And finally, with less earthworks, it will lead to reduced construction costs and reduced construction emissions. If you would like to learn more about the software or book a custom demonstration, check out the links in the description below. Thank you for watching.